So here we have a mass, a 10 kilogram mass, starting at the top of a, an incline. Uh, the angle of the incline is 37 degrees. We're given the initial vertical height of the mass above the lowest point, which is um, this level surface from A to B. And the coefficient of friction is 0 0.25. And it's the same, the coefficient of friction is the same both on the incline and on the level surface. Um, and that's not to say that the friction is the same because what happens at point A is uh, the mass moves from the hill to this level surface which is going to change the normal force. Um, and if you recall, friction is equal to coefficient times normal force. So the coefficient is staying the same uh, from the incline to the level surface but what happens is, is the normal force changes. So we'll have to take that into account. Um, so the way to think about this problem is it's, it's basically a kinematic problem. We're being asked to solve for the distance from point A to point B. Uh, the 10 kilogram mass is going to accelerate faster, 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 faster to point A. And then once it reaches point A, it's going to go slower, 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 slower until it finally stops at point B. So there's two different accelerations in this problem. We have the acceleration on the hill and we have the acceleration that is on um, the level surface. Once we have these accelerations, uh, this becomes a kinematic problem. We're just going to be using the motion equations. So um, but to find these accelerations, we're going to have to use uh, our knowledge of forces. We're going to be doing free body diagram, summation of forces uh, to find the acceleration on the hill and to find the acceleration on the level surface. And like I said, once we have these accelerations, then we're just going to, we're going to figure out what this stopping distance here, the, the question we're asked to find is the distance from point A to point B. Um, and once we have the accelerations, we're going we're gonna to solve it with kinematics. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is um, find the acceleration on the hill and find the acceleration on the level surface. So let's do that. Let's start with a free body diagram. So I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so we're going to take a look at our mass uh, sitting on the, on the hill. So here's the mass as it comes down the hill, and we're going to show the forces acting on the mass. So we have uh, mg down, we have normal force up, perpendicular to the incline, and we have friction pointing straight back. And friction equals coefficient times normal force. All right, now uh, the thing for inclines is we want to tilt the xy axis. We're going to say that parallel to the incline is the x, perpendicular to the incline is the y. So the normal force is perfectly y, friction is perfectly x. And mg is coming straight down, you know, it's it's pointed that way, which means that it's x and y. So what we're going to need to do is break it into components. So I'll use blue here. So I'm showing the components of mg. Uh, that's supposed to be, let's redo that. We want this to be perpendicular to the incline. That's the y direction. This represents mg y. And then this represents MGX. And this angle in here is the same as the angle of the incline. You can prove that with geometry. Uh, you always need to have an angle when you're breaking vectors apart mathematically. OK, so now that's our free body diagram. So the next thing we do is we sum the forces. So here I'm going to write incline because in a moment we're going to be doing the level surface. 
So remember, remember we tilted the xy axis, summing forces x, summing forces y. In the x direction, we have two forces. We have mgx, which points down the incline. We're going to say that down the incline is plus, up the incline is minus, and then plus, minus. So here's our sign convention right here. Okay, so mgx is sine 37 mg. And friction minus mu fn. Those are the only two x forces. So the summation of the forces is equal to ma. So here we have a useful equation. Now in the y direction, we have two, um, two forces in the y. We have normal force that points perfectly y. And then we have the y component of mg, which is cosine 37 mg. And summation of the forces equals ma. And this acceleration is zero. There is no acceleration in the y direction. So what we can do is just call this whole thing here zero. I mean, it, it is equal to ma, but the a is zero. All right, so from here, it's just algebra. We take the y equation, solve for normal force, which is going to be cosine 37 mg. Uh, the m is 10, g is 9.8. When you put the numbers in, you're going to get 78, 78.2663 newtons. So that is the normal force. And now we can take this normal force and plug it in up here in our x equation. So we take this x equation, solve it for a. So a is going to be sine 37 mg minus mu fn. We, ne we now know what fn is uh, all over m. So you punch the numbers in. Make sure you don't put in negative 9.8. Uh, we've already done all the sign conventions. So here g is just going to be 9.8. And when you solve for a, we get 3.94 meter per second squared. So this is our acceleration on the incline. So let's go ahead and label that. Erase this. So our acceleration on the incline is 3.9411 meter per second squared. Okay, so now we need to find the acceleration of the block when it's on this level surface from A to B. Uh, the acceleration changes because it comes off the hill. Um, it's going to change from a positive acceleration, positive meaning in the direction of motion, uh, to a negative acceleration because what happens from A to B is the block slows down. So the acceleration is um, opposite motion. All right, so starting with our free body diagram, Here's the mass. We have mg down. We got normal force up. And then in the x direction, so down here, we're, we're now saying that this is the x and this is the y. We're off the incline, so we, we put the xy back to normal. And, uh, and then friction points opposite motion. That's mu fn. Okay, so for... For the level surface from A to B, A to B, um, we sum the forces x, which is uh, the, the only force in the x direction is friction, which points opposite motion. You know, our sign convention here is going to be plus, minus, plus, minus, like that. So we have negative mu fn, and since that's the only force, I mean, that's, that's all there is. So this is equal to ma. And then in the y direction, 
we have normal force up and mg down, just two vertical forces. And this equals ma. And again, this a here, this acceleration is zero. There's no vertical acceleration as the block moves from a to b. So we can just change that to zero. All right, now we take this y equation, solve for the normal force. As I mentioned earlier, the normal force is going to be different um, because it's no longer on the incline. So here, when you put the numbers in, you know, so normal force equals mg, which is 98 newtons. The mass is 10, gravity is 9.8, giving us a normal force of 98 newtons. So now that we have normal force, we can take this x equation and solve it for a. So a is going to be negative mu fn divided by m and you punch the numbers in, mu is 0.25, the normal force is 98, and our mass is 10. So this gives an acceleration of negative 2.45 meter per second squared. This is the acceleration on the level surface. So let's label that, make some room here. So our acceleration from A to B is negative 2.45 meter per second squared. Okay, so now the rest of the problem is kinematics. It's, um, we're, we're gonna figure out, you know, the, the thing we're trying to find is the distance between point A and point B, and we used forces to find the acceleration of the block down the incline, and we used summing of forces to find the acceleration as the block moved from point A to point B. So let's make some room, and we're going to do the kinematic part. Oops. All right, so the kinematic part, one thing we're going to need is we need to know um, the distance down the incline. So from, from here, from where the block starts to where the block reaches point A, uh, we have to know that distance. And that's just a trig calculation. So um, using trig, we're going to say sine 37 equals uh, opposite, which is 20, over the hypotenuse. So solving this for the hypotenuse gives us 33.2328. 33.2328 meters. And again, that's the distance down the incline, which is the distance we're going to use in our um, kinematics. Okay, so the first kinematic is going to be uh, to find the velocity at point A. Velocity at point A. So, here's what we know. V initial up here at the top is zero. We have the acceleration as uh, 3.9411. That's the acceleration down the hill. And then the displacement as the block moves down the hill is 33.2328 uh, meters. So to find the velocity at point A, we're going to use uh, v final squared equals v initial squared plus 2ax. v initial is 0, so v final is the square root of 2ax, which gives 2 times 3.9411, 3 point, and that's meter per second squared, and then x is 33.2328 meters, giving a velocity at point A of 16.1848 meters per second. So we now have the velocity right here, 
velocity equals 16.1848 meters per second. Okay, and then the final calculation, again, is a kinematic. Um, we're now solving... We're now solving for the distance from A to B. So here's what we have. At point A, the initial velocity is 16.1848 meters per second. Uh, v final over here at point B is zero. And the acceleration from A to B is negative 2.45. So the, uh, the equation we can use, again, VF squared equals V initial squared plus 2AX, and V final is 0, and we're solving for X. So X is negative V initial squared over 2A, which is negative 16.1 eight four eight meter per second square that and then divided by two times negative two point four five the negatives cancel out leaving it positive and giving us a final answer of fifty three and I'm just gonna round this to tenths place now it rounds to fifty three point five meters which is the final answer to the problem.